Two chips. 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 Come on, yeah, man. yeah, I ain't like how 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 he had like the entourage. Even though we rock with both of y'all, but it was like he had all the cheerleaders there. He had the family, <laughs> the whole thousand. Hey, nine he, he got he got the massage going <laughs> on. I said, oh hell no. Nah. It seemed like he planned all that out. It was epic. I don't know. You know, I can't be sure on what he planned out. I wasn't in in his in his huddle or in his corner. I just know that um we stuck to our guns. We stuck to the script on what we wanted to do the point and the message that we wanted to get across. And uh, it, it it didn't matter who went first or second. I, I was never, my list has been picked for two weeks now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed myself, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, although I liked, you know, what he did with the massage, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I just, I, I wanted, I wanted to do it. Everything that I did, that's something that I, I would have done. You know? yeah. Now, um, a couple of things. The first thing was um, I forgot how many records you have because every time you was hitting them, it was kind of boom, boom, yeah. boom, and then you was performing them like how you performed on somebody. I can see he had the he had the verse going. You ain't had no verse really. I, it was like your show version. Yeah, TV track. Um, yeah, uh-huh. um, and see, I don't, I don't, you know, he probably has TV track. I don't know, you know, like I said, I don't know what he had going on. But for me, you know, I was dead serious about this. I, I rehearsed for this. I ain't gonna sit here and act like I'm not a normal person. This meant a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? I was, I'm gonna, I studied this catalog. I was very studious about this. I was very aware of the moment. I was aware of, you know, who could be watching at any given time. So, you know. I know who I am. You know, sometimes you have to connect the dots with the fan base and everything. It's been like that for me, you know, for years. But I'm always, I've always been confident in who I am and I've always been like, if you don't know, you slow type of stuff. So that's all I was trying to exemplify last night, let them know, like, it don't matter who all in the room, you know what I'm saying? That I'm him, you know. I'm shouty, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't play with me by that. That's all. I, I absolutely agree. Uh, yesterday was one of the best verses that I've actually seen. And I'm not just right. saying that just because we're talking to you right now. But do you think that the people forgot or lost touch of actually how many records and how deep your catalog is? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. You know, some people I have, you know, I have fans too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I have fans mm-hmm. that, that, that could have picked up probably 20 more. You know what I'm saying? So, this whole thing with verses has been something that's actually helping us get through mm-hmm. this whole COVID pandemic because it's a celebration of, you know, musical geniuses from whatever era. And it's an educational thing where it speeds you up to what's going on. It's a it's a reminder. You gotta think my first my first solo album came out in twenty twelve. My first solo oh, album was twenty twelve, which, you know, Thanks to God, it got nominated for a Grammy. Ross been out since maybe like, I think 2005 or 2004. So mine wasn't like going catalog with him because that wouldn't make sense. This whole thing was about me just having, that's how I knew my list had been picked for for two weeks. I just knew I had, you know, I got my 20 hits ready. That's what we did, but I enjoyed it, man. I I love doing it with him because I originally asked me to do it and he declined. And so Swiss came to me with the Ross thing so, you know, I couldn't decline. So I was happy it was him because we've been in the studio working on my album and his project for a couple months anyway. So it was good energy. Now, is there anybody that you want to see in the verses that you haven't saw yet? I want to see T.I. and Drake. I mean, I, I want to see Drake and Lil Wayne, actually. Like, is there anybody, R&B, old school, it, it doesn't matter who it is that you would personally like to see in the verses? I want to see Drake and Wayne. Drake, Drake, you know, Drake, man. Drake I don't think he's going to do it. Drake catalog, crazy, man. A Drake Who would I like to see, man? I, I like, man, I know this sounds crazy. I like Mary J. Blige, man. Stuff like Mary that. Mary versus who? When they be doing them. I don't know. I just like these people. Mm-hmm. And I would like for them to, like, Mary and Monica. participate. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like Dipset. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Like, Ooh. I don't Dipset know who. Who's that? I don't know who they would go against, you know what I'm saying? It's just like a 
He said G Unit. Ooh, yeah. that'll be a hard one. But they don't all get along, so how that's gonna happen? True, true, true. That'll be a hard. Yeah, you gotta be able to get in the same room and vibe together, man. Can't be no smoke, no post beef, and people yeah. getting sniped on the way out. I got, I got a this last comment for you, big dog. Um, one thing that I always love that you do, you show, you show love to our boy School. You know that's our personal partner. Family. I, I heard that shout out. And I just love the chemistry that you have with uh, Issa. That's our personal partner, too. Like, I just think it's important for, like, uh, you know, just people like Schooley and Issa just to get they, they flowers. And I love that you always give it to them. Like, you, like, you do it effortlessly. You feel me? No, nah, yeah, man. Uh, Schooley is somebody that I want to be bigger than me. I pray he'd be bigger and richer than me because I just he, – he's just more talented than I am. Sud is somebody that I've, you know, been around for a decade, saw and watched him grow, watched him grow, watched him become the network expert that he is. So I want the best for him. I've watched him grow into a man, a father, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I appreciate, sir. I appreciate everybody around, but I appreciate, bro. And, uh, you know, I appreciate y'all for, like, rocking with me and my team, you know what I mean, looking out for Sleepy. Both tastes were super solid. <laughs> I want to tell y'all, you know what I mean? I want to give you y'all roses too, like, you know, stepping out on faith, just seeing something that people ain't really seeing yet. I appreciate that. I want to tell y'all that too before we got and something else. I appreciate what y'all um doing for sleep. Oh, yeah, that's our boy. Always, man. man. Yeah, all them over there. I, I, I think we need to ask them about the Hawks, though, bro. What's going on with the Hawks, big dog? Like I need you a basketball guy, so I need to ask you your. We trying. To, I mean, I mean, you you know I'm a, um I I have some ownership of the Skyhawks, but I am in the Hawks mm -hmm. business a little bit, and I just know that we are trying to you know hopefully get the first pick, and then we'll just go from there. Now <laughs> now now I see J Cole might have a trial coming with the the Pistons. Pistons. Is there is, is there a two chain trial coming with the Hawks? I, I want to see you hoop, but I want to see you hoop in the Hawks. You don't want one game, <laughs> at least one game. You know what that would do for the culture? Can we do a petition? Even even if it's for the Skyhawks, you know what that would do for the culture of the that city? That would be fine to see you come down nah, and hit a three. Nah, nah, Tech always had that idea, man. For me, I'm 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 dead ass serious. I'm a super duper like. If I'm in, if this is what I'm gonna do, then I can't do the rap thing. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to okay. start a training. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop like, smoking for real. I can't. You can't. I you can't play, and think you're gonna go out there and play. You know what I'm saying? With with people that do this for real, uh -huh. or you gonna get smashed and embarrassed. And so for me to be on that, it's gonna take a, at least a at the minimum a year to just clean myself out and know like this is what we're doing. We training on cardio. You got people that's just getting out there and pulling their hamstring and stuff like that. Like this is a different, it's a different speed. Mm -hmm. I've played with NBA players. It's just a different speed than, you know, LA fitness. So <laughs> right now I can be MVP of LA fitness. So I don't know. <laughs> LA fitness. <laughs> but just thinking you're going to go out there with somebody that's been playing and working and training and get your rocks off, man, you're going to get. But J. Cole, secretly, he been training, though. Like, we've oh, seen him. Okay. See, I didn't so, know. so, yeah, he ain't just part. He been definitely doing some shooting drills and a bunch of stuff like that. So, that's just different. But you still got to go out there. You got to stick somebody. Yeah, you got to guard somebody. You got to know where to be when the ball away from you. You yeah. got to know what to do when you pass the ball where you got to go. Never mind. Pass Never the mind. Ball, you know what I'm like, yeah, like it sound like it sound it sound cool. And I can still do all of those things mentally. My body just probably ain't finna just be moving when it's supposed to. You dig what I'm saying? So that's all that was. It was, it was a dope idea. Maybe, man, a few years ago, I probably would have took it more seriously. But it's time move on and I get old and stuff like that. It's just a dream that just it just looks like it ain't gonna happen unless it's one of them <laughs> teacher versus student basketball games. And now, if we go up there and play. Now let's talk new record. Talk to us about that. Uh we see you got the band. It it, it just a super dope concept overall. So let's talk about the new record. Moneymaker is my new single off my um you know upcoming album called So Help Me God. It's featuring Lil Weezy. Wayne, it's yep. the yeah, it's the um Southern University band. Uh I went to a HBCU. A lot of us did. 
you know, for me, I'm a thinker and just trying to come up with a concept and also be disruptive. You know, we've all sampled songs before, but we've never used that that halftime vibe, that, you know what I'm saying, that black school homecoming halftime vibe. Like, you know, some people used to go to the game just for halftime, you know what <laughs> I mean? Right. Even in Atlanta, Atlanta, we got, you know, I went to McNair, you know, Southwest DeKalb, you know, I'm playing a lot of these schools. It's the same thing, you know what I mean? High schools, it's the same vibe on that band. So, um, you know, the concept came with that, you know what I mean? And no one knew that we wouldn't be able to have homecoming this year, but yeah, that's awesome. I mean, it's still, it's still, it's still a vibe for me. I feel like it's very, very disruptive. As soon as you hear it, it just does something to your soul. It does something to your nerves. It makes you really appreciate and just, you know, the whole nostalgia, just looking at the dance team and just the whole vibe, you know what I mean? Right. Now, now speaking of that and the times that we're going through with Corona and everything, what, uh, touring shows everything being shut down how important do you think as an artist it is to stay creative and and actually keep putting out music and everything during these times yeah you have no choice but to be creative it forces you to be creative because you can't cast for videos you can't shoot you can't do a lot of things that you normally do you know what i mean people were you know renting a lot of stuff and it just it's just a lot of things that you're not able to do at the moment so right now it forces you to use the things that you have to, to get what you want, you know what I mean? It forces you to be more creative, and I, and I love just taking up, going the extra mile to think of something, you know, crazy and, you know, out the box. So for me, I loved it. You said something uh, funny last night on your verses. You said, uh, we getting old, man. We're going to have to use the bathroom soon. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, what is something that, you know, that you would tell a younger version of you right now, like if you were going through this pandemic, like what would you tell a younger version of yourself right now? Um, you know, I'm I'm a different person than I was, you know, 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's hard for me, you know, for me to be an example for my younger artists. I just have to show them. I can't talk to them because I was on some, some of the same foolishness. So, you know, back then during the pandemic, uh, you probably couldn't tell me to sit in no house. You know what I'm saying? To be real. You know what I mean? Uh, I was jugging, so I'm still going to, I was still going to make them plays and probably be making more plays since all this stuff going on, you know what I mean? Just be, so I can't tell you what I would be doing. I can tell you that I thank God for getting me to where I am in life and just being able to to reflect on some of those things, whether they were wise or not, and be able to still be relevant, have cultural relevancy, whether it's on um, most expensive, whether it's at the Skyhawks game, whether it's out rapping somebody's favorite rapper, I'm still a part of it, I'm still, breathing, I still feel good, I still look good, health as well, I smell good, I'm, I'm popping. Now, um, 2020, uh, November is coming up, uh, a major time that we are actually going through right now. Um, what is your take on everything that's going on with, with the millennials, the younger demographic? Uh, I mean, people like myself who don't really like to get involved or don't want to get involved in the voting, who thinks their vote doesn't matter. What is your take on that? We need to just try to change the narrative. You know, uh, we don't need another four years of what we just went through, all the disgrace and stupidity. So I suggest that everybody try to vote just for something different. You know what I mean? I can't say it's something better, but just mm -hmm. something different. It's just time to vote. I mean, white or black, man, you definitely have to make sure that your voice is heard, especially us black people, though, not being happy or content with what's going on it's very important to get out and use your voice to be heard okay uh before you get up out of here i got i gotta get out my chair <laughs> me and dc got this debate debate going on big dog i know lebron is your guy <laughs> right i don't I know, who know you going going. The playoffs, but i'm going clippers <laughs> i'm going clippers because they got two of very important wing guys. You feel me? Like, they play defense, perimeter defense. Paul George, uh, Kawhi Leonard, perennial, in their prime defensive players. The Lakers, if you've been watching bubble, the bubble play, have not scored over 100 points this whole bubble. I think they're in trouble. Now, my take on this, I personally, I used to hoop. I played college ball. So, the Clippers have a tougher time getting to the Western Conference Finals. First round, they're even going to have to play the Mavericks. They're not winning. They're not sweeping the Mavericks. They're going four, five, six games. Guaranteed. Second round, they have to play the Nuggets or the Rockets. 
They're going another six, seven games. Fatigue takes a toll on you, and you got two star players who are injury prone. So I don't even think they're going to the final, the Western Conference Finals. And if they do go to the Western Conference Finals, who you got, I don't James? feel like that their Lakers legs will be enough for the Lakers. Who are you picking, big dog? You you know who I'm picking. You don't know I'm a Lakers fan. Hey, Lakers. Lakers. I'm a Lakers fan. Okay. I'm a Hawks. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm gonna tell you this. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me let me be honest with you. I'm a Hawks fan. I'm born in Atlanta. I'm a Hawks fan. I always will be. My father was a fan of Magic Johnson and the Lakers. So this ain't – it just happened to work out that LeBron was a friend of mine and he ended up going to the Lakers. But I was a fan of the Hawks and the Lakers when LeBron wasn't there, when Kobe – before Kobe got there with, um, with Eddie and uh, Van Exel and a lot of those guys. So I've been a fan of them. And just to fast forward to what D.C. saying, I ain't even think about – you know what it's going to take or who they got to go through to get there. I just know when it's time to turn up and be a robot, that's what LeBron turned so into. Make me an emotional pick. Okay. Right. <laughs> same, same thing he's doing. That's not right. emotional. That's being real. We're, we're done. It's cool. No, no. That's wait, an bro. emotional pick. <laughs> but listen, now, before we get up out of here, is there a date on the album? Um, September. That's all I know right now. Now, what can people expect? What can your fans expect from this album that will be different from anything else that that two chains has dropped in the past uh definitely uh the production is different you know i got my one or two personal songs where i touch touch on what's going on with me in my life i have another anthem outside of money maker that's mm-hmm. you know what i mean just as fun can we get that first <clears throat> <laughs> Money maker ain't Break even a day. Old. Money maker ain't even a day old, man. Agreed, agreed. I'm just talking you know, about like when when the time comes, just to break it. Up it. I got, I got you. You got it. <laughs> I got you. We but, text uh, you right now. <laughs> yeah, the album. Uh, I got some, you know, some, some cool features. I mean, I got this joint with Kevin Gates. I really like. Oh, that's hard. Uh, I got one with Chief Keep and Uzi that I really like. Oh, wow! Wow! Uh, yeah. So I got some songs okay. I'm really excited about. Now, now, can we get how many tracks are going to be in the album? Oh, I don't know yet, man. Damn, I done told y'all all that, man. <laughs> now, leave me alone. Now. Come on, man. We over. family, man. That's it. That's it. That's it. Cats out the bag. It's like a boring interview now. Yeah, we ain't trying to be like everybody else, okay? <laughs> you, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, man. We really, really appreciate it. You know it's always love, OG. <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate the love, man. Drop that new joint, bro. Always. We got you, big dog. All right, one. All right. <laughs>